This free presentation is brought to you by Quantum University. I am uh, Dr. Paul Drouin, medical doctor from Canada. I'm also a founder of Quantum University, professor of integrative medicine. And uh, today it's a joy for me uh, to uh, speak about creative integrative medicine and also integrative medicine, which is the, the title of this summit. Uh, this is a question that is asked to me uh, so many times. And it's, it's uh, the, the answer uh, uh, need uh, many uh, explanations, many aspects. And this summit uh, of integrative medicine, where you will uh, hear 49 speakers, uh, probably brush an overview of all the angle of what is integrative medicine. And uh, this is the conference I'm giving now, would give you uh, a deeper understanding, would be also like a map that would guide you to put all the dots together. Because, you know, when you see one after another at the end of the uh, these days, the week, you may say, you know, but how this tie all together? So I re highly recommend you to see this conference, even at the beginning or at the end or a uh, few weeks after, to be able to really uh, uh, put together what is this new shift that is happening now in modern medicine and what is so important to understand uh, uh, what is creative medicine based on the, uh, the concept of uh, quantum physics. This is, uh, it's not that complicated. It's a holistic model. It's an integrative model that uh, uh, is part of, of course, uh, uh, conventional medicine, but also, also other modality of healing, other way to look at the client, you know, from another perspective. This is very important this day to day because we gather a renowned doctor, speaker, doc, pe uh, people that has not only published, but written scientific article in this domain. And many of them are part of our university. And, and for me, it's, it's very important because, you know, the, the, to shift a way to look at the individual, a way to heal uh, and, and, and bring a new breath in medicine, we need to be uh, an orchestra. No, that uh, cannot be done in solo. And, and years ago, you know, when I was already interested in this uh, subject as a young doctor, family doctor in Canada, practicing a different modality of integrative medicine, I was in some way, uh, as many of you uh, 30 years ago, very isolated. Today, this is not anymore the case. All over the world, we are already have students in 50 countries. We have, there is, a, as I said, a renowned doctors and people interested in this subject. And you will understand at the end of this week and at the end of this conference, uh, what is all the, the aspect of this uh, new science in medicine that uh, will absolutely uh, shift uh, the way we look uh, at medicine. But first of all, let me tell you, uh, you know, maybe people ask you, oh, you yeah, have integrative medicine, but what is for me? Why, uh, you know, it's interesting if I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not uh, planning to become a healer, or doctor in natural medicine, or doctor in integrative medicine. What is interesting? This week uh, is interesting for everybody. It's interesting, why? Because the, the, uh, the understanding of health in terms of human potential is something that uh, is a, not only a resource, but that every individual should know to be able to, uh, in some way, take uh, con control, retake, <laughs> you know, the power of healing, that actually more is now in the, the hands of doctors, professionals, or a system that, of course, uh, cannot deliver everything. So along that conference, you know, you will learn not about nutrition, of course, about habits, but more than that, how we, you can uh, reframe a behavior that can be negative with you, how you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, how important are uh, the way you think, even uh, not only uh, to change behavior, but that we will, you will also understand through when we go through uh, genetics and new biology that this can also be uh, an important factor how, how to uh, your gene would react and map you in this world. So this information individually, it's a knowledge. It's something that everyone that is caring about his health, about longevity, this is the... <laughs> The, the decade of the baby boomers uh, should absolutely know uh, if uh, you care about, you know, uh, what would be the quality of, of life uh, for the next, <laughs> your next time uh, 
decade, 20, 30, or 40 years uh, uh, to live. It's also important for your family because you will uh, uh, understand that how you, you is your health, how you think, generate also a field that has an impact on your families. And there is information about the community, how you can be also a healer, a doctor in integrative medicine, natural medicine, implementing this concept in, your, in the field of health in your own community. It's important for the country because you have to realize healthcare need this uh, new way to look at medicine. For me, the question is not who pay the bills. In other words, you know, it's not a little more, a little less of the government, but it's how medicine is practiced. And as long, you know, our university, our uh, school of natural medicine are not framed with this new curriculum based on the science of quantum physics, you know, there is no way we can solve that. Medicine has to be something that is decentralized, that belong to you, that you take in control in hands. And not only that, it's, it's also a question of when uh, you have to deal with healthcare, you can have access to different type of modality that can restore your health. And you will soon understand that this is also important for the whole world. Because more we understand now this vision of quantum physics uh, and, and that the fact that we all interconnect together, that we can even have an impact you know, on, on world consciousness, gener generating more coherence with our brain, with our heart, and so on. So this is how important it is at this time, critical time, where not only America, but also all countries in the world now try to have a better healthcare, better understanding, try to uh, uh, have an idea how, how we can uh, uh, all together uh, uh, bring on earth, you know, more health, and, uh, and also more peace. So let's keep on because uh, we have a lot to see today. Uh, Creative Integrative Medicine is a book I, I written last year. Is, uh, and if you have an opportunity uh, that you, you can read, it's, it's available now everywhere online. Uh, Balboa Press. And, and, uh, and you will be able also, if you, if you want to... Uh, to uh, go a little bit deeper in, in what I'm speaking today, uh, you can gather information there. Uh, in, uh, in the way I start that book, and this is one of my lines, no one knows the price we are paying for an incomplete medical ed education. And of course, I should show that and no one knows the price you have to pay because you don't know everything about what is the way uh, should be your... Uh, your uh, lifestyle and way of thinking, what the cost you are, you are paying for that. So in other words, it's knowledge is important. Not only knowledge, but also to reframe, you know, the ground on which uh, our education is done in, in health. You know, I am uh, originally <laughs> done a, a medical school. And uh, so I know exactly, you know, what I learned there. And as and when I get out of the school, how, when a client walked in the office, how I was uh, uh, relating with that individual, you know, how I was evaluating that individual more in terms of disease, trying to find, you know, among the few uh, resources of healing some tool uh, to uh, address the health problems. And as it goes, because I'm satisfied, you know, we we'll see this in the book, you know, uh, you know, you, everybody goes some some traumatic event. And my, for me, was the the death of my brother, who, who died at uh, an early age, 17 years old, of uh, osteosarcoma sarcoma of the skull. So that was for me the trigger to look and search years after years, trying to gather information, becoming an acupuncturist license, a homeopath, board certified, uh, natural medicine, and so on, trying to b put together uh, all the information that, uh, and the resource that could help my client. But later on, uh, you know, I realized that uh, even uh, I was, I was uh, getting success, I will be challenged by my pair and that will say, you know, uh, it's not scientific. And we heard this so many times. So, and this is now the, the news, uh, what we bring about, you will see all along the conference, we have now solid scientific data that can back up this new understanding. It's not something, uh, it's not a philosophic system. Now we have research that more and more can come and, and support 
uh, this uh, new model of, of health, new model of healing that we call integrative medicine, but what I call uh, uh, more originally creative integrative medicine. Uh, I'm not the only one to speak like this. You know, you will see in this conference aligning the other doctors that went to a, some, some kind of different path but have came to the same conclusion. What they learn afterward to be able to care about client and to understand in depth uh, a subtle energy and how it works spontaneous healing and how uh, you can heal from different paths. Uh, you, we could not learn this in medical school. And this is what we'll say uh, Dr. Bernie Single, uh, surgeon, uh, pediatrician. So, you know, he's, <laughs> he went to the, uh, this path, you know, as a medical doctor. So in here, he wrote to the dean of the medical school saying, you made me a fine technician, but you didn't teach me uh, uh, to take care of people. And I, I like uh, you, you hear himself speaking about this in his conference. And, and same thing with uh, Dr. Lisa Rankin, you know, that will admit exactly the same thing. Also, uh, an OBG surgeon uh, that uh, was uh, ha having, uh, from uh, uh, her father was a medical doctor. She went to medical school and, and, and she will tell you, you know, as a medical doctor, very conventionally trained, I was not taught these things uh, at medical school. So her testimony, her lecture, you know, of course, I invite to, the, to listen to that, but it's very important. But for me, it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not the only doctor out there. And, and you have to realize uh, that uh, there is the same percentage in, in, in the healthcare of nurses, health practitioner, uh, speci specialists that has also... Uh, uh, open to this new idea of healing of integrative medicine. We have a lot of them now that are knocking at the door of the university and they are, they are looking to learn what I call integrative medicine with this new vision because they still don't try to understand how to fit this in a scientific model. So Dr. Rankin, Dr. Bernie Siegel, myself and others, doctors, you know, are uh, some with pioneers, but you know, others are, are still out there, you know, uh, uh, believing in this same uh, uh, model of heating. Dr. Uh, Joanne uh, Borisenko, you know, very interesting what she's saying. She's speaking about, for the first time, you know, American children born in 2014 are the first generation slate to live shorter life than, than parent 16, 69 years on average. So, uh, and, and she come with uh, research about that, you know, it's, it's why it's so, so meaningful. So it's telling you that now, you know, this, here's the argument when you think about healthcare now. It's, you know, there's this debate. I come from Canada. I practice medicine in Canada. I am in America now since 2000. So I have kind of a taste of the bulb system. This is absolutely a pertinent debate, how we pay the bills. But someone has to be a little bit deeper and, 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 and ask, you know, you know, how medicine is practiced and how costs, you know, the costs of healthcare is increasing. Now we're speaking on this research, you know, 50% in a decade. Alors, tell me honestly, you know, who can afford that? Who can afford a model of healthcare based essentially on two main modality of, of treating people, pharmaceutical and surgery, and look at the cost there. How, who can afford that? No industrial country, in a, and now no, they even think about poor countries because you know it's even uh, more out of reach. So we have to rethink. We have to rethink you know, the way we practice medicine. And that, and that was my reflection, and that was the beginning of this mission when I started to put together this new curriculum for, uh, for medicine and natural medicine. A way of thinking that, you know, will be costless. If, you know, we argue all the time that, you know, all these other modalities of healing are not scientific, let's have, you know, let's update the model of science on which we are studying to quantum physics that has the capacity to explain this modality of healing. You know, I'm thinking about, by example, you know, uh, uh, acupuncture, the, 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 the concept of chi and prana and vital force and all these uh, models of healing cannot be grasped by a model of science that is 
uh, linear and materialistic. We will come back on this later on. That this is very important. So, so uh, and, and this is uh, what is uh, the mission. Why can we see that? You know, that's that's my question. You know, uh, uh, why? You know, and I wrote this in a blog, resulting in the doom healthcare. Why? Uh, the what I just point a few minutes ago. Why nobody is, is is seeing this now in the in the debate of healthcare? You know that you know the way you know the the car that <laughs> we have in hands and the place set up. You know how can we see that there is no uh, there is no exit? There is uh, you know the solution just reside in not opening, uh, broadening our model of science and uh, using uh, many more modality of healing. Why can we see this? You know, it's just it's just a question of common sense. Why can we don't see that now? It's time also that more people, uh, you know, uh, take back this knowledge of how to maintain health from you know how you feed yourself, how you exercise, how the way you think, the way you you know all these modality and are empowered by the healthcare itself. This is very important, you know. I, I, if I was 30 years ago and I see the patient coming in my office, I will look at this individual, you know, what, in terms of disease and, and what can I prescribe for him. Today, the same individual walk in and what I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone who is maybe half of his potential. And my, my parameters I'm looking at, and we will uh, say a few words about it, are totally different, are in terms of what can I be done to bring that individual to its false, full potential in terms of bioterrain, not only physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and so on. So uh, it also uh, this is one of the line I wrote in my book, and I think it's it's uh, it's resume all this idea. The tree of medicine must be transplanted into new soil where its root can deepen and intertwine to reach a more complex source of healing knowledge and bring together all tradition of healing, ancient and modern. We're not speaking here, we're not speaking here about the melting pot. No. The, the problem with conventional medicine is we have to update the model of science. You know, what is teach there 30 years ago when I was there in university is still the same thing that is teaching. How, you, medicine can understand subtle energy without quantum physics. How can we understand the model of, of, of human potential on the model of biology and uh, chemistry that is uh, absolutely just materialist? There is no way to grasp the connection mind and body without uh, what we will speak in a few minutes, uh, uh, this uh, downward causational model. So this is all these principles, all these this science now that has to filter, that has to permeate uh, our education. And, and of course, th this is the key in some way, you know, the one who, who uh, perpetuate, the one who implement the healing in society are the doctor, the nurse, the, the natural medicine doctor, the naturopathic doctor. And if, this, if the education is still framed on a materialistic model, you know, the of, it is pretty obvious that, uh, you know, there is consequence. So let's be creative. Let's, what I say, thinking outside the box in medicine. This is one of another block. Let's be creative. And, and this is the brand of America, right? Creativity. If this, uh, this country uh, has something unique, and there's many uniqueness in America, but creativity is a brand that everybody will recognize. And we need creativity now in healthcare. We need cre creativity uh, uh, not only there, in energy and peace and so on. So, but we have to think outside of the box. And, uh, you know, this is another, uh, so uh, first of all, you know, you, you see this uh, Hippocrat here, you know, he was the father of medicine. And, uh, you know, another blog I wrote, you know, last summer I was in, uh, in, uh, in Quebec, Canada, and I was uh, walking in front of my university, seeing on this wall the oath uh, of Hippocrates. And uh, uh, I realized that, you know, uh, medicine now was so far from what are these uh, uh, basic principles that are more close to life, they are more connected also to uh, no harms and 
the respect of life and, and nutrition and so on. So, and, uh, and this was uh, brought me also to think, you know, uh, again, to uh, uh, re question the, the, the foundation of this uh, medicine that I learned <laughs> 30 years ago. Greg uh, Braddon in his conference, very interesting. Uh, I, I love this comment he said, you know, when he said, you never, uh, and this comes from uh, 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 one of his uh, famous uh, author, you never change thing by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Uh, you know, I would not say uh, obsolete totally, because, you know, at the end of the day, when I say quant integrative medicine or creative integrative medicine, uh, uh, conventional medicine is also part of it. You know, it's, all ju it's, it's just more a broader vision where, you know, you, you, at the end of the day, you use all the features that modern medicine has brought to us that are absolutely important, you know, because there is, there is advancement there, there's benefit, and I am a, a doctor, I, I love medicine, I'm passionate about medicine, but, but you put this in a context where other resources also can be used uh, to generate health. So if I, I say a new frame here, is this, this new understanding that we will speak about in, the, in this uh, next hour and that you will hear about during all the conference, you know, this pioneer, I already seen, you know, uh, you know, that we have to change our way to look at things and we have to implement this in the society. So, Lynn McTegart, if we speak about, you know, these, th this new concept of reference, uh, was one of the pioneers in some sense to make this concept in quantum physics uh, more available to common people. You know, she was the one who put in, in, in words that we could understand the reality of the field, in other words, you know, this is what was revealing quantum physics. There is this like under, underlying uh, reality that we call the field that uh, connect all of us together. But it's like, you know, a field also that uh, uh, allows us to understand that, you know, there is beyond the mo molecule uh, model or atomic model, you know, a, a field of energy. And, uh, and, and that was very important because before that, you know, I remember before she wrote her book, I, was, I read so much about quantum physics, but it was very difficult to tie this with, the, with healing and, and some also uh, ancient model of uh, healing. Uh, but when, the, you know, she has done this, her work, uh, a lot of uh, uh, people has uh, started to open more eyes. And, and we have in our, in our curriculum, in our school, uh, what we call the trilogy master. And she wrote three books that are absolutely classic and everybody should read to understand not only this underlying reality, which is the field, but how we all need to connect together and how we can affect uh, you know, our relationship from relationship to also uh, <laughs> the whole universe. Uh, she is uh, the one that is the architect of a project of intention where uh, she has demonstrated that we can at distance have an effect uh, on, on uh, individual and uh, community. So this is, this is very important. But that was kind of a first uh, cornerstone. And after that, you know, uh, came a Dr. Amit Goswami. I will say uh, Deep, Dr. Deepak Shropov, of course, he's not in our conference now, but was also a pioneer. One that uh, started to try quant uh, tie quantum physics to spontaneous healing and consciousness and so on. Dr. Amit Goswami, and we have many people knows him because he wrote about eight, nine books. Now it's not ten. And he was also featured in uh, What the Bleep Do We Know, was the one that dropped more precisely, you know, what is from quantum physics that can apply to health? What are the principles? He bridged both. And, and for us was absolutely imminent, which, uh, urgent that we have uh, him on board on the faculty. Uh, trying to uh, lay out uh, what I call the premise of quantum physics that apply to, to health. And um, one of the very important points in, uh, in, uh, in his book, and uh, this is what I was saying here, the, the bleep, is how we look at a reality, how we perceive things, shifting perception of the world may be an individual or collective challenge. Uh, 
this is very important. He's the one that, uh, uh, because very, but a lot of people was, were speaking about, you know, materialistic model uh, uh, connect with uh, uh, conventional medicine, but now how we bridge all that together. So he was the one that framed this understanding of a linear model to a multi-dimensional uh, uh, model of thinking and how this can apply to health. This is so revolutionary, uh, revolutionary and I, I, I have a chapter in my book about it. So in other words, it's like you, we shift our, feel our, uh, our perception, you know, uh, completely, totally around. You know, this is as important than the day that they said, oh, you know what? The earth is not the center of the world. You know, we have a su uh, uh, sun here. And then later on, you know, we, we went deeper. You know, everything was shifting around. You know, what was previously the center of the, the universe shift. And, and, and you remember, you know, what was the, the consequence of that. And, uh, and, uh, the, and, and this, is also, this is exactly what is happening here. It's like we're shifting how we look at, uh, at things. And what we're speaking about here is the downward causational model. So in other words, it's like previously uh, we, we were thinking in terms of in, in the, in, uh, when I study medicine and in, 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 in study physics and chemistry and, and, and so on, it's like, you know, here you have, first you, <laughs> you have to study the anatomy and later on, of course, biology, molecule, atom, and then you start to put all the pieces together, meaning that at the end of the day, you try to explain, you know what, but where is the mind? How, how the mind happen? How this work? <coughs> and, uh, and, and the mind become the byproducts of uh, this bunch of cell, organ, you know, interacting together. So uh, there was something missing. There is, and you cannot fit in also, uh, you know, intelligence. You cannot fit in the, the, the life force. You cannot fit in, you know, uh, the spirit. So at the end of the day, we say, you know what? It, it's dualistic. You know, what is belong to science, you know, just is taking scientists take care of it. And what is take <laughs> is more spiritual or the other of mine, you know, is taken care by someone else. So this is, that was kind of where and the conversation. So uh, came along and, and now we have this downward causational model. So it's the other way around. It's like you have this underlying reality already spoke by spoken by uh, Lynn McTaggart, the field that uh, Dr. Goswami uh, and as Deepak Chopra use the world consciousness that in some way it is the, is the ground where it, it, everything is, is many, it's, it's a world, it's, it's a field of potentiality. And this is where I come from, you know, it's not the, uh, we start from the cell, the atom, it's the other way around. You start from and then everyone, everything, every aspect, every dimension of the field become a possibility of that field. So it, it's so revolutionary. And when you start to frame this this way, then you start to open door to many things. You start to understand how works subtle energy. You start to lay out what we call uh, the, 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 the subtle anatomy. And when you start to look at modality of healing, now you're not trying to heal someone from bottom to top, but from top to bottom, where you have multi-dimensional layers of information. One that, of course, at the base is the physical, the vital body is the realm where, you know, uh, homeopathy and acupuncture will work, and mental body, you know, the NLP, FT, everybody that, you know, is trying to re reframe the mind. And the supramental become like the, the reservoir of intelligence, of archetype that guide, is guiding, you know, the, the vital body and others. And of course, the bliss body that is even more subtle. So we start to frame same in, a, in some way a model that can actually grasp a greater reality. This is very, it, it, it's, it's a cornerstone, you know, you have to start with this. And then, of course, now you start to understand that when you look at the individual, you have to gather a lot of information to be able to adjust what is the best with that individual. You start to have already a frame to have a map, not, you know, like I am a medical doctor, I have my pad of prescription and study have shown that I probably play with between 20, 30 remedies. 
you know, it's pretty limited, right? So how I can deal, you know, with uh, physical toxicity, how I can deal, you know, with some energetic imbalance, how I can deal with some uh, traumatic uh, trauma, emotional trauma, or spiritual uh, dilemma, and so on. No way, you cannot understand that. So this is what is creative integrative medicine. Now, a, a way to intervene, a way, not necessarily intervene, but me uh, in uh, be a co-creator of health with your client, you know, and uh, having an, a deeper understanding of how it works things. Guide the individual to full potentiality. So you shift from looking at things from disease to full potential. But with, this is where some, for people who want to be doctor, nurse, and heal with this modality, you need a little bit of uh, studies here. And this is what is called quantum university, the curriculum that will provide you the information to relate that in these terms. Uh, quantum evaluation the, is another, uh, I would say, another byproduct of this, because now you're not looking anymore uh, from the, the previous point of view, but now you, you know that there is a subtle anatomy uh, and, and so on. So there's a lot of implication that will uh, be consequence to this uh, a model of healing. You know, you look at, at this reality now from a field of full potentiality again, where you have multidimensional and then fr uh, and having this understanding, you can you know, integrate now concepts that belong to ancient model of healing like uh, Chinese medicine, acupuncture, uh, homeopathy, naturopathy, and so on concept that was more relating with energy, life force, etc. Dr. Bruce Lipton, he is like, I would say a knight, he's a hero of this medicine. Why? Because he's the one who addressed one of the most important questions in medicine, which is genetics, which is the genes. You know, this is so important because you have to understand that the next decade, will be about, you know, the genes. Everybody will rush in clinic to have their map done and see, you know, you know from your heritage, what is you, you should die for, you know, why, why you should die in the next 20 years. And after that, you know, maybe because these pe people who have this limited understanding will run in, uh, you know, uh, to have uh, arm, legs, and, maybe, and breasts uh, cut, you know, because you may have a disease of these different organs. You know, this is how linear is the model of, of genetics now. It's like you are determined to be who, what your genes are. Dr. Bruce Lipton has written a, what I've, I, I, I call uh, you know, the, the new biology, which is, you know, uh, completely uh, different than what we learn in medical school. It, this is not the question here. You know, the... You are not determined by your gene. You're thinking. The way you think, the way you believe, the way uh, you frame <laughs> yourself will have a consequence on, on what uh, disease could be expressed. So this, is so this is why it's so important that doctors are trained in this, in this model of potentiality instead of disease. Because, you know, as uh, quantum physics revealed, we're all tangled together. So what when you relate with this doctor that has a pessimist view of your outcome, uh, you don't think that could be also have an effect on your health. So this is this kind of new doctor we need now. People that can think outside of the box, that the, diag the diagnostic, the gene, are not what will determine your outcome. Uh, he's uh, saying himself in his... Uh, uh, presentation, uh, if you study organic chemistry, the foundation of conventional medicine, you have no insight into the nature of the force that form life. This is, a, this is an important statement. And then he will also go to this idea that genes do not control biology. This is what I was explaining. All these chapter has to be written again in the new curriculum of medicine. But it's also available for people who just want to have information about it because this course uh, can be part of a, a curriculum for degrees, uh, American degrees that you can gather at the university uh, from bachelor to PhD. Or it could be also anyone that is interested to understand about evolution and, and genes 
And Dr. Goswami and Dr. Lipton address uh, deeply this, uh, this question. That is absolutely a debate in America for many years. I know that. The, the idea of evolution, the idea of bi biology is, is, a, is a hot uh, question. So fact, gene, do not control biology. Don't miss this uh, lecture. Uh, please, this is very important. Uh, Dr. Rupert Sheldrake, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm putting together all the piece of the puzzle. And everyone was important to lay out this new understanding from Lynn McTaggart, Dr. Amit Goswami, Dr. Lipton, and now Rupert Sheldrake was the one that started to speak about the, this reality of morphogenetic field. How can play, where is this intelligence, where is this information, you know, that guide life, you know, and this is what he has uh, explained to his uh, uh, idea, not only idea, not only concept, but this uh, reality that is the field. This is another cornerstone in the human biology that has helped us at the university to build this uh, uh, understanding of uh, what I call subtle anatomy. So uh, that was, this is, we, we were so proud to have him uh, now part of uh, uh, the, this uh, teaching and the, and the thing because he is another pioneer that uh, will be uh, <laughs> uh, listen uh, in the history of medicine. Carolyn Miss too, you know, she was also a pioneer. And you know, the, this is what I'm telling you, you know, everybody that different, from different ang angle, different ex experience, stream of life, came to the same uh, uh, understanding, you know. And then when she said, I start to study uh, uh, human uh, energy, I realized that this was so, uh, the, the so sophistication of a huge energetic anatomy system. So, uh, you know, uh, I see her as, as like, a, like an intuitive, a visionary that already has in some way uh, uh, in advance, you know, uh, uh, seen uh, the, the importance of this uh, uh, understanding. Dr. Amit Goswami, uh, uh, will, uh, 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 as I said, lay out principle from quantum physics and then later on the downward and then of course, you know, different uh, 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 multidimensional body and one of them is what we call the vital body. This is the one that, you know, uh, is a representation, as I said, the morphogenetic field of the vital organ. So these are all pieces that start, we, we start to understand <laughs> you know how things work. Foundation for subtle anatomy. You have to realize as a medical school, I've done probably six months where we were doing this section on uh, cadaver to understand how this works. And I was very excited about the, you know, the, this first years of medicine, you say, finally, I may understand how this works. Let's put the piece, you know, look, look at all the piece of the machinery. Uh, but now, uh, you know, of course, after years and years and scrutinize and studying, uh, what we came here is much more deeper. You know, you realize that, you know, here you have the physical, you know, we see uh, uh, this anatomy, but, you know, underlying that, there is a field. Uh, and we need to understand that to be able to restore health at a deeper level. This is what we call the southern anatomy with uh, this uh, different layers of information that has laid out uh, Dr. Ami, Amit uh, uh, Goswami. Another, another uh, reality I found when my practice is when I was challenged with cancer patients, fatigue chronic, all these uh, degenerative disease, and, and this is the lot <laughs> I'm telling you of medicine. When you are a family doctor, this is what, what will uh, come in your office. And, uh, and as I was studying uh, these other modality of healing, I realized that, uh, you know, they were more challenging to uh, restore, you know, uh, you know, if there was, there was more toxicity, if there was more uh, left, uh, life force. So, and uh, this is uh, something that, of course, has also studied other researchers, the, the geopathic stress, the field, how we can restore the magnetic field at least to give some more uh, <laughs> energy in the battery so that the modality that we are using in natural medicine has more grip. And, and I will say a few words about this at the end. What is going the future of medicine? It will be between coupling 
a different a layers of information with different modality of healing that you know can work at the physical at the same time that work at the at the vital the mental or the supramental this is where is going uh, the field and and brian myers uh, very intelligently uh, start to explain about uh, this uh, this idea dr yuri crown okay now we start to understand more the anatomy we start to understand more how work the field this new anatomy but now how can we restore health is there are there way that we can use you know, how can we imprint in other words substance that will resonate with this subtle energy that was the research of this uh, uh, russian uh, physicist uh, uh, dr yuri crown who uh, they, they did his life to the, in research trying to find how we can imprint you know mineral base with information not only that crystal also can be informed uh, uh, with uh, with information so he's another p pioneer in this field and he's uh, i compare him at, in some way at the 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 homeopath uh, of this uh, the century because this is what was doing hanuman no he was the one he was trying to use you know uh, a sense of plant of mineral and then by dilution and and succession you know shaking the substance try to create a compound that will have a resonance with the disease now we quantum physics now teach us that yes it's possible but we can we can have also uh, other technology that have also the same leverage so this all this uh, knowledge you know this is you know of course as a medical doctor i have studied uh, the pharmaceutic and all the molecules but now tomorrow doctors will have to learn also modality of healing that resonate with uh, subtle energy with vital force and, and how to restore health without less side effect and ultimately costly this is very important you know uh the cost of medication has to be reduced you have to be to restore health not one one you know the organ is completely uh falling apart and uh, you know now we we are in a disastrous situation we have to be able to you know reinforce health vital force you know in the in prevention you know before you know imbalance happen uh, acupuncture uh, ancient acupuncture knew that they knew that uh, you know you could you could uh, play at this level you can you know or, uh, don't wait that someone is sick but you can already uh, rebalance the energy before the disease happens uh another interesting fact that say uh should uh Rupert Sheldrake is Krista has a morphogenic field this is another interesting uh you know uh, uh, uh another f uh, way you know that we will use in the future to uh to restore uh, the health using other in other words other medium of of uh <laughs> you know uh to uh influence the physiology of the subtle energy you know water can be one of them imprinting a mineral base with information but now what about crystal now that can also you know restore uh, reharmonize your environment and yourself so another chapter and then i have to go a uh, quick here i know the time is just going uh, the quantum evaluation and they have another chapter in my book about it this is very important is how you look at the individual and i say a little bit uh, before is you know not anymore in terms of disease but in terms of potentiality positive health is embedded within everyone full potentiality of the self can be actualized to proper knowledge and tuning you know this seems very a uh, magic right but you know when you start to study uh, this type of medicine this is what you start to to uh, learn how to look at the angel for another angle and uh, help us uh, neuroscience help us also different tool uh, that allow us to evaluate you know subtle energy and th there is a frame a, a grid uh, where that is teach in some way that we can gather the, the complexity of this information this is the model of what i call the five pillars and the five body and the seven chakra this system already exists for century and that can be used reuse in a way uh, based more on science 
uh, uh, related to quantum physics. And, and this is what I call the quantum evaluation. I go quick here. Let's just try to give you some piece of the puzzle that are very important in, in the model of integra creative integrative medicine. And quantum evaluation is one of them. Why? Because ultimately, when you will look at an individual, and now this is what is showing the, the chart on the, on the left side, you know, 5% are in the in state of disease, 20% health, 75% have function, meaning that if you look at the crowd in the society, 75% are okay. It's not they are sick, they see the doctor, they don't feel well, test our uh, result, uh, come back normal, and doctors say, you know what, come back when you are in the 5%. Now we're saying, now let's evaluate them in terms of potentiality, in terms of health, in terms of bioterrain, and bring them back in the 20% uh, before things happen. And there's many tools that we are using now and that would be in the hands of these uh, new doctor of integrative medicine, natural medicine. Quantum immunology is one of them. Uh, you know, it's a tool where that can deliver a lot of information and uh, also not only that, because you know, the problem with southern energy, you cannot assess directly. You, have, you need some mirror, indirect measurement to assess what's going on in the southern energy and, uh, and uh, quantum immunology can be one of them. Uh, there is something very uh, popular now. It's called the heart variability. Heart variability, uh, you will see uh, uh, with some of our presenter heart mats. Uh, uh, Dr. Ronan, uh, he explained, you know, uh, the, all the science that is be behind her heart variability. There is no more question about it now. And now, but we use some technology based on heart variability that give you... Uh, a reading of, of the meridian, the chakra, and so on, the stress, the biology cage, and that will be also discussed uh, by uh, Galina, <laughs> Dr. Galina, uh, that uh, is covering this subject. Dr. Davis, read Davis, because you know the natural doctor you work with different type of assessment, how to put all these uh, information together. You see, I'm showing you now, you know, what is, will be, uh, you know, if you are an individual where you should look at or you are a healer, a doctor interested to expand your understanding, a source of information that will be provided by a quantum university. There is a lot of, of more than that out there. Gaetan, Dr. Gaetan Chevalier and uh, Jessica uh, Lubrin uh, will expose, you know, all the, what is out there now to uh, assess subtle energy. Thermography is another one. And, uh, and they are covering very well this subject. The, Dr. Dean Radden, and this is one of the more questions, we're speaking about since the beginning of a human potential. He is <laughs> coming from an end, uh, another angle, which is what we call the, the supra superman, supranormal ability. And his conclusion is, yes, yeah, there is supranormal ability. But what is <laughs> positive health or human potential in terms of creative integrative medicine? Of course, everybody is looking for more energy, power, be a superman. But the way we look at creative from the angle of creative uh, integrative medicine is so more in terms of integration of qualities that are related with health. You know, in other words, you know, ancient uh, Taoist uh, doctor knew that that the heart is, you know, is an organ for love. And, and then, of course, that heart can be more, you know, altruist uh, with self, you know, uh, compassion and, or could be more egoistic and so on. And then, of course, the energy of the, the meridian and the energy of the organ uh, will be different. So there is a way to integrate all this together. So health is about human potential, also integration of higher quality. And then, uh, <coughs> and this is what we will speak about in this uh, uh, curriculum, you know, the, one of my famous uh, teacher will say, the heart is the absolute master. When it's strong, the illness doesn't get in. So that was her way to say, you know, when you are in love, you, most of the time you're not sick. And she was speaking about you know, uh, 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 another reality that is even more than that. You know, you know that you probably heard that. You know, ancient and acupuncturist doctors were able not only to take the pulse, but they would be able to see 
the energy in the meridian. They will be able to hear the sound. And then she will say the subtle body is a complex meridian avenue of wave, colored by the density of their vibration. The reason is so luminous that the ancient uh, monks call a rainbow body. Uh, others, like uh, in the heart mass, they have expressed this as a field. But, you know, in that time, uh, they were saying this rainbow body. In other words, when you are at your peak, you are at, at your uh, maximum health, and you are all, uh, have integrated, you know, uh, all these positive quality. Uh, and you probably, uh, you know, you're shining, all your energy is shining, <laughs> you know, in all the, the color. And, and how you think, and the emotion you have, and... And so when, when you interact with this individual, you know, uh, all this play at uh, the level of the subtle energy. Uh, the vital body is a shimmering manifestation of cha uh, changing color. This is what you will see. Variations are fast or slow, strong or weak. They sing and express themselves according to the individual mind reaction to the personal social event of life. So it's, it's fascinating. But we have science behind that. You know, we have, we have Dr. Joe Dispenza that, uh, you know, is, is absolutely renowned to do and, for, and start from neuroscience to explain how uh, you can refrain your behavior, your brain circuit, you know, and how you can shift from an ego model of, of being to a more self model. This is very fascinating because as a family doctor, I realized one day that it's not more about, most about, more, most of the things, it's not about, you know, the pill. It's about to changing lifestyles. It's about to change the way you, 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 you react with the individual, your capacity to forgive, let go, uh, and, and so on. And, and uh, of course, you know, this old fashion that had the doctor just try to, you know, the tap on the back or, you know, try to kick the, the patient or shake the guy, you know, and, to do something about his, uh, there is, there is other way today that could come from uh, 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 neuroscience that apply Dr. Dispenza that are much more powerful and, uh, and actually subtle. And so this is what I wrote in one of my blog, rewiring the individual awareness, collective individual on our, to awakening knowledge should be our main focus. So it, it's, it's a deep reflection here, but this is very important. You know, when we speak about in terms of a potential, you know, because now it's proven, you can increase your IQ. You can change habits that destroy you. You can empower, you know, your thought at a point that your thought can be your remedy. So, and this is uh, back up with science, uh, by, with uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, who wrote uh, the placebo and other, uh, uh, another uh, book. Uh, and that we have framed in a course, you know, uh, with him uh, for the students that are in, in our curriculum. Uh, a brain, a, a, how to evolve your brain and how to change your habit. And this is what we're showing here, this model from ego to self. So in other words, what we have, we have, you have seen, creative and negative medicine is also in some way supported by the whole neuroscience today. And Dr. Dispenza and Dr. Fanning too, is one uh, that witnessed uh, this reality uh, with uh, the brain mapping and uh, that he has elaborated in, in one of our class, uh, brain mapping and neuro, neuro uh, feedback. This class is so important because in some way, this is a scientific tool that now has the capacity to map how, you know, uh, not only how your brain uh, your brain waves, but uh, now how the whole thing works together and how you integrate things. And then there is today what we call the, not only the physiology of enlightenment, but, you know, the EEG of enlightenment, the EEG where someone, you know, show uh, the quality uh, of integration. So, and this is uh, covering this uh, uh, very important subject. Dr. Roland uh, Mc, uh, Crady, uh he's a pioneer of the, heart mats, and, uh, you know, uh, to have him on board here is a, is a delight. And, and his mission is, is quite uh, uh, very important, you know, because it goes beyond uh, the, the heart variability, the role of self-regulation and coherence in optimal health and performance. But it goes also uh, 
uh, to a, a mondial quest, a global project of uh, world coherence. And I like this video. Why? Because it shows, uh, you know, this field. Because we need illustration sometimes to try to understand subtle energy and see in seeing, you know, uh, you know, this connection, heart brain connection and the feel. And, and then uh, they, w they go even further that, uh, you know, this coherence effect of, of people around you, your community, the whole world. And they have even find a way now to monitor the global coherence around the earth. So uh, there is a, a lot coming about that. Uh, Nassim Haramein stretched this idea of connection from earth to the whole universe, to, the, to his understanding of, uh, you know, unified field of theory, you know, that uh, uh, you, he will be exposing. The under, he is he's saying by underlying uh, understanding, the underlying geometry of fabric of space of time and applying this knowledge to everything we know in the field of biology, genetic and medicine, we begin to develop new treatment and technique that are in resonance with the fundamental frequency of the universe. So, uh, and this is what uh, has conducted me to speak about the Noosphere project. Uh, is it something coming uh, after the, the Congress? Uh, the idea that, you know, the health of individual, you know, will be, uh, as I said at the beginning, will have an impact also on, on, on the health, uh, the world health. And, uh, and this uh, idea of Nosfer that was uh, previously spoke, uh, spoken by uh, Th Pierre Théard de Chardin, he already in the, in the years 1560 spoke about it, you know, the biosphere. And this is what today people, uh, you know, their uh, concern about the planet and taking care of the environment came with. And then the, no the, 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 the moment or the event of uh, internet where people are all connected uh, all over the world now. The Nosfer become you know, trying to get a little bit uh, in a higher dimension here. There were uh, through, uh, uh, you know, uh, non-local communication, we can bond together to generate more healing on the planet. So where is going uh, uh, the future of medicine now, as I said, is, will be to couple, cu coupling a different modality of healing, multidimensional that address these different layers that I spoke about, supramental, uh, body, vital, and physical. And uh, this is addressed in one of my class called the Creative Integrative uh, uh, Healthcare Training, if you are interested. It's part of the curriculum uh, and it's also available uh, itself. So the, uh, I, I see the, the university is kind of the lighthouse of this, uh, what I call to, we call today uh, uh, quantum medicine or creative integrative medicine. Why? Because uh, we have been the voice and the platform of all these authority and knowledgeable uh, researcher, speaker that has two time define a new real, not only a new reality, but how we can implement this in health and how we can implement this in healing. And today, uh, as you know, we are in 50 countries. We have a, a thousand of the students and the summit of integrative medicine will reach, you know, not only now healers and doctors, but also the, the population in, the, in general, the individual that has, need to know this, uh, it's, uh, this uh, information. Uh, worldwide, we are connected, we are a family, and uh, today I'm pleased to know that you are part of this family and you have joined the Summit of Integrative Medicine, and who knows, later you may decide to become a healer, a doctor of integrative medicine, natural medicine, and join this passion to help, to heal yourself, help heal your family, your community, and the whole world. Thank you very much. Join the quantum medicine movement. Speak with an admission advisor today.